Hi, my name is Esther. Welcome to our channel. Today I have a calming stretch Pilates workout for you. This routine will help you energize your body and relax your mind. So let's begin in standing. Now why stand ten to two position? Lengthen your whole spine. Imagine your head is a helium balloon floating up towards the sky. Open your feet, gently elevating the inner arches of your feet. And then as you lower your weight, open your knees as well. Push yourself back up, lowering down and push yourself back up. Imagine you have a wall behind you just sliding up and down keeping your chest above your pelvis. As you lower your weight, you're gonna reach all the way up above your head and relax back down. Exhale and inhale. As you lower, try to draw the lower ribs down towards your pelvis. And lower as far as you're comfortable with. Make sure your knees, your hips are happy in this position. Can have one more. Stop halfway, roll forward. Rounding your back, back of your hands meeting in front of your chest and open up. Curling forward and then opening up. A few more, carry on with that. As you round your back, move your pelvis towards your chest and chest towards your pelvis. As you exhale, inhale, open up. Curl and inhale, open up. One more time, open and then relax your hands on your hips, turning your right foot 90 degree and then your left heel will follow that position. So we end up in a lunge position, facing towards the short edge of your mat. Gently draw the sitting bones together, lowering your tailbone towards the ground, tucking your pelvis underneath. Just shift your weight slightly forward and backwards until you feel that mid position in between the two feet. Slowly lower your weight, push yourself back up, keeping your back nice and straight. As you lower, you're gonna reach all the way up and relax down. Reaching above your head and then lowering down. One more. Engaging your core, brilliant. And then reach your arms forward, shoulder height, and then open your right arm above your head chest towards the right side, lowering your arm behind you, passing your hip, completing a whole circle. A few more of that and relax down. You can slowly reach up and then lower your weight. But if you feel it's too much for your shoulder, just simply pull your right elbow backwards at shoulder height. Imagine pulling an arrow, and then reaching forward. So either way, make sure you choose the right level for yourself. You can have one more big circle or a pull and then relax your hands down in front of your thigh. Engage your core and then shift your weight forward on your right leg, engaging the core and then sliding your left foot forward and then reaching back, sliding forward reaching back. Try to balance on your right leg. You can tap it back and front if you feel that you're stable. Reach and lengthen with your left arm, keeping your right hand pressed into your thigh and then curl forward. Reach and lengthen, keep balancing and then curl forward. Gonna have one more. Slide back into that lunge position and then slowly lower your weight, kneeling down. Tucking your pelvis under. You might need to move your front foot a little bit further forward. Then open your left arm sideways and above your head, 
slightly bending your spine towards the side. Nice stretch on the left side of your body and then release. If you feel, you can even hold that position. If it's a nice stretch for you, make sure you don't force it. Just enjoy that position for a few deep breaths. It will ease and it will be better as you practice. Brilliant. Lower your arm, engage your core, and then move your foot back, kneeling down, and then move your hands forward, slightly further forward than your shoulders. Gently run your back up and down in this all fours position. Finding a neutral lumbo spine position, keeping your back parallel to the floor. Extend your right leg, keeping your toes in connection with the mat. Engage your core, so slightly lifting your lower back up, and then open up your left arm. Then reach underneath your right shoulder across in front of your chest. Opening up, and then reach across. Open up and reach across. If you feel that you're stable enough, you can float your leg up about hip height, keeping a nice length of your leg, but make sure you balance and you're stable and safe in this position. Very nice. We're going to have one more. A little open. And then crossing over, then relax your hand down, cross your leg behind your left foot and then slide backwards, sitting over your left heel, enjoy that nice stretch, keeping your right knee extended and relax your shoulders down. Look in between your hands. Opening up your chest towards the front slightly. And engage your core. Pull yourself back into all fours. Tuck your toes under. And then push yourself up into downward facing dog. Position extending both knees. Then pull your left heel away. Extending your right leg. Enjoy that nice stretch. And then change. A little marching. Pressing one. And the other heel down the floor. Opening up your chest and lengthening your whole spine in this position. And try to extend both legs. Enjoy that nice little stretch. And then raise your heels. Lower your knees down, engage your core. Push yourself up into kneeling and then step forward with your right leg. Place both hands in front of your thigh. Engage your core. Push yourself up. Draw a half circle with your left arm. So we end up in that 10 to 2 position. Arms open and then close in front of you. Lower your weight down. Open up the inner arches. Open up your knees and engage your core. Have a nice little twist towards the right. Moving back to the center, towards the left, and center. If you wish to challenge your balance, you can try to raise your right heel as you twist towards the right side, lower, and then same on the left, keeping your hands in front of your chest, bone open, and center, with one more open, and center. Hold that position towards the right, open up your arms forward and backwards, and then move back in the center, front of you and lower your heel. Same on the left, little twist, opening up, reaching forward and backwards, move back to the center, and lower. One more. 
How about trying to raise both heels up, engage your core, get your balance, get your stability ready for that nice twist. Opening your arms, standing at one spot on your right, then slowly move back, try to balance, twist, reach, and center. Brilliant. Lower your heels, reach all the way up, and then relax your arms down. Engage your core, pop your hands on your hips, and then twist towards the left to even us out. Right heel, following that position, so we end up in a lunge position, facing towards the short edge of your mat, tucking your pelvis under, opening your chest, relaxing your shoulders. Gently shift your weight forward and backwards just to find that mid position. Then slowly lower your weight down and then push yourself back up. Slowly lower, push yourself back up. Reach with both arms in front of you and above your head. And then down. Few more. Engage your core and then draw the lower ribs down. Can have one more hold at mid range and then lift your left arm above your head, reaching backwards down towards the floor, completing that big circle with on the other side. If you found that too stiff, then you can complete a little holding of the elbow, arrow type of movement at shoulder height. Either way, make sure you balance, make sure you choose the right version of the exercise for you. I'm gonna have one more big circle reaching above your head and then relaxing your hands down in front of your thigh. Engage your core, shift your weight slightly forward, bring your weight on your left leg keeping your back nice and straight. Press both hands into your thigh and then slide your right foot forward and backwards towards your left ankle. Reaching backwards and lengthening your whole body and the right arm as well in addition. Reach and lengthen Staying at one spot about a meter in front of you to improve your balance. Try to curl and then reach and lengthen. Curl, reach and lengthen. One more time. Reaching and then slowly lowering the weight back, engaging your core and then lower all the way down, kneeling down. Gently tuck your pelvis under, lift your right arm sideways and above your head, leaning towards the left side, opening up the right side of your body for a nice stretch and relax down. If you wish, you can hold that position for a few deep breaths. It's nice and relaxing. And it's stretching our hip flexors quite nicely, especially useful if you sit quite a lot during the day. Let's try one more of that. And then release. Slowly step back. And then move your hands forward, slightly further forward at your shoulders position. So we have that all fours position, running our back up towards the ceiling and arching. One more time, up and down, until you find that mid position, having a nice long back, engaging your core, slowly lifting your lower back up and then staring at one spot at eye level. Reach your left leg backwards, engage your core, and then open up your right arm sideways and above your head. 
reach across underneath your left shoulder and then open up have that nice little twist of your back reach across if you wish to challenge your balance you can float your left heel up about hip height make sure you're safe make sure you're centered and then carry on with that movement Gonna have one more, reaching across and then lowering your hand down on the ground, crossing your left leg over your right heel and shifting your weight backwards, sitting over your right heel as far as you're comfortable with, having that nice stretch of your hips and glutes muscles, lower your shoulders down there are one spot in front of you at eye level and then open up your chest towards the front reaching your heel backwards just let your breaths relax a little bit then engage your core Pull yourself back up into all fours position, tucking your toes under and then push yourself up into that downward facing dog. Nice stretch, you already practiced on the other side. This time, try to raise both heels up and then lower them down, enjoying that nice stretch. One more lift. And then lower, hold that position for a little bit. But if you feel it's too tight, you can simply bend both knees slightly and let your heels elevate a little bit, focusing on the stretch of your back, pushing yourself up and away from the ground with your hand. If you wish, you can lower your knees down and step forward with your left or raising both heels and from this position step forward with your left pressing your hand on the top of your right knee and then drawing a half circle opening up and end up in standing engage your core reach all the way up and then relax down a few more reach and then release let's try our final challenge Lower your arms at shoulder side, engage your core and slowly shift your way towards your right leg, opening up your arms, float your leg towards the side, hold for a deep inhalation or two and then relax down into the 10 to 2 position, reach all the way up, relax down Engage your core, open your arms, shift your weight towards your left, hold, balance, and then float your leg up. Take a deep inhalation, long exhalation, back to the center, reaching all the way up, and then relaxing down. Release your shoulders, relax your arms, and then pick up your shoulders towards your ears. Take a deep inhalation and a long exhalation. Drop your shoulders. Inhale and exhale, release. One more time. Deep inhalation, picking up your shoulders and then relaxing back down. Brilliant. So that's for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed these exercises. If so, I invite you to join our 10 days Calming Pilates journey starting from next Monday, the 9th of November. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you will know when we will start our free brand new program. See you next time. Bye.